Here's 10 more Godot workflow tips. We can easily change scenes and nodes. For example, you can press Ctrl N to create a new node of any type. Then if we want to attach another node, use Ctrl A instead of just pressing this button. If you want to attach an existing node that you've already created, you can use this button or just Ctrl Shift A is faster. We can choose to run individual scenes instead of just having one main scene. You can do this by either pressing this button at the top or more conveniently press F6. So we can run just this scene and it works. If I want to run the main game, then I would just use my normal key binding of Control B that we discussed last time. This is a helpful tip for navigating your code. So if we have this code here and I click into this, I can go back by using the back mouse button. Of course, it would be more convenient if this was a key binding, if somebody wants to add that. We also want to show more screen space by turning off the minimap. If you have it on, it's covering up at least four letters here. We turn it off. There we go. We can make changes while the game is running, similar to Unity. I can run this scene here that says Godot Rules, then click in the Remote tab, type whatever, and it shows up while the game is still running in the background. If you're making a multiplayer game, then you'll want to enable two instances instead of just opening the project twice. We can go to Debug, Run Multiple Instances, and select however many you want. If I run three, then we have three instances of the game running. Do Asset Library. If you're having trouble finding how to do something from the docs, you can go to the Asset Library projects in the launcher. There are some very helpful ones here. You can also view the asset library from within the engine itself. This is only tools, not projects. Next, if you ever have to reload your project, if you're in a 2D scene, you can just do Control shift y is what I have mine down to. And the project is back. You can check out part one here. Thanks for watching.